Okay, we're back. So we're now going to talk a little bit about the data vault modeling approach and also the methodology behind it. So the first thing to keep in mind is that beyond the data modeling itself, hubs, links, satellites, and the associations for data modeling, the data vault is also a data warehousing methodology that we found it in principles that are consistent with true enterprise data warehousing, EDW, and also with Billiman's Data Warehousing 2.0. So what does this mean? This means that we're looking at a business scenario where people are not looking at uh, an analytical appliance for a short-term single divisional need. Uh, we're not looking at things where we're doing operational reporting off of an ERP. Um, we're looking specifically at a situation where uh, people have committed as an organization to the approach of enterprise data warehousing. That enterprise data warehousing layer uh, is a layer that we should um, assume is going to be integrated. Integrated meaning that we're going to be taking data from multiple different source systems, potentially external systems, potentially other feeds through SOA. There's an integration of, of data sources going on. Likewise, it's time variant meaning we are in an enterprise data warehouse environment contemplating time slice data. We're going to track how a particular entity's attributes or context changes over time and may be described differently from different sources. Likewise, it's non-volatile. What we're really saying is that we're not going to be deleting this information. So we're in traditional um, data warehousing or data modeling approaches. We may build a database where we can delete or update a record in an enterprise data warehouse, we are not contemplating deleting or updating records that are already loaded. Um, we also have to add the current um, requirements for enterprise data warehousing, which means this data source has to now be auditable. We have to have a way that we can trace back to the exact source data and be confident and be auditable in the process of how we got that data in. Um, we also load all the data all the time. So if there's data that does not match business rules that may have errors in it, uh, there's other exceptions with the data. We still load it into the enterprise data warehouse architecture. We deal with the exceptions at a later date. And lastly, we take data coming in at the atomic level. Unlike delivery marts or analytical appliances, we're not going to be doing summarizations or aggregations uh, to limit the data sets as they approach our layer. In the enterprise data warehousing layer, it's not just all data, but it's all data at the atomic level, the lowest level of grain. So again, the part of our approach is that the um, data vault methodology component has to do with being in sync with true enterprise data warehousing requirements. Um, one to really keep in mind is that full traceability and auditability is imperative these days to make sure that as we're looking at data that's come across, that data is fully compliant from an audit perspective with a system of record that actually created that source information from the beginning. Applying business rules downstream of the enterprise data warehouse is the only way to really be sure that we can make that happen because business rules that are applied prior to the data warehouse are going to potentially um, impact our auditability and change some of the data on the way in, which then, of course, would, would impact its ability to be considered a system of record. We also have to have a support for operational business intelligence systems today. So for example, um, the needs for the data that comes through the warehouse, integrated, atomic level, um, persisted data, time slice data, um, still needs to um, oftentimes be delivered in a near real-time environment. Having data coming in in a streamed environment, almost operationally streamed, and in the same way it has to adapt to that data and present it in the same time frame. Really important for today is a methodology that allows us to build incrementally this enterprise warehouse. We'll get more into this as we talk about some of the pain points in the ROI components, but um, incrementally built is a, is a core requirement now too for our methodology as well. And then the architecture has to be adaptable so that as we add new data sources, as we have changes in our business rules, as we have new things that come in, we have to be able to accommodate those changes and absorb those changes. The architecture needs to be built to consider that future growth. Um, and, of course, through the future growth being accommodated easily, 
the overall life cycle of your data warehousing program would have a lower total cost of ownership. Um, these changes, by the way, we talk about the future, but the changes, as we all know, may start occurring before you're even fully deployed with your first uh, warehouse iteration. Um, through M&A and through other uh, scope changes with different divisions, we can count on there being changes perpetually to our data warehousing program. So um, when you're considering the data vault, please consider the two components that are critical here, modeling approach, but also the methodology and the paradigms that the data vault uh, endorses and condones. Thanks.